Highlanders Football Club are returned to winning ways after choking up an important 1-0 win over a battling Wange side, though their slender win did not move them any higher on the log standings, where they remain fifth, eight points shy of leaders FC Platinum. Watching Boso in the opening minutes of the match would have flattered Wana to believe they were in for an afternoon of impressive football and a high score line. The home side threatened Wange with their first raid, some eye-catching passes between Godfrey Makaruse and Makinon Mushore, launching the former upfield and as he made progress, he subtracted even more opponents before picking up a divine Mindirira. Storming into the Wange box, Mindirira came down under challenge of Lucas Sibanda with protests for a penalty coming most prominently from the Soweto end, the furthest stander from the action. Referee Temin Gossi Spanda would none of it and the play continued. Without doubt, Highlanders enjoyed an upper hand in the opening stages of the first half and again Makaruse was causing problems for the visitors with a blistering shot that went straight to Wange keeper Wellington Mouya. Much against the run of play, Chipangano almost caught Boso exposed on Makaruse's flank after Kenan Gomos cross landed on and unmarked Prosper Mate who ballooned his shot to the grandstands. Highlanders thought they were one up 14 minutes from the break after Marvin Spanda's header from a Peter Mutua cross was cleared off the line by Sebastian Moyo. Boso were now all over the coal miners and as they ran rings around the visitors, Makinon Mushore attempted from a distance but his shot was killed wide off Wellington Mouya's right hand post. The pressure was not done, Boso were back with what looked an impressive build up at Divine Mindirira, Marvin Spanda and Linot Chikua all involved to set up Brighton Nube who took one too many touches in the box and Wange cleared before Nube pulled the trigger. With less than 10 minutes left to half time, Wange almost caught Highlander snapping after keeper Rafael Pitis' clearance was intercepted by Kenan Gomo who quickly fed Marcelino Mlilo midway through the Highlander's half. Mlilo with one eye on goal then attempted to catch keeper Pitis off his line but the Pozo goalminder showed great agility as he went airborne to plug the ball to safety. With halftime looming, Wange got involved even more in the game. Kenan Gomo's shot from the edge of the box are collected safely by PTC, whose confidence in goal seems to be growing with each game. Not surprising, he has been called up for national team duty. Nil all at the break, the home side enduring what was turning out to be yet another frustrating afternoon, as all they gave was counting to nothing with Wange soaking up the pressure to stay alive. Highlanders came back from the break with even more hunger and zeal than in the first half. Comparing Wange to backtrack, it took some solid defense to repel Bozo's first raid after the breather. Sebastian Moyo on the way to prevent Melika Yangnube's blistering shot from finding its path to goal. With Highlanders literally camped around the Wange box and their sort of fans are edging them on, the coal miners went under torment and even in the chilly Sunday afternoon, you could tell they were sweating to retain parity and somehow Bozo's early raid had been repelled. But for how long? It took Highlanders just three minutes of the second half to break through after Makinon Mushore raced onto a long ball from Marvin Sibanda and holding up play, Mushore spotted Marvin now on the edge of the box and the ball headed forward connected perfectly to beat a bemused Muya and Wange had finally been breached. Wange thought they had found an instant equalizer when four minutes after conceding, Shepard Kazikwa was first on to a long ball from Sebastian Moyo to flash his shot past Rafael PTC, but far side assistant Melody Nube ruled Kazikwa's effort offside. Makinon Mushore, the second player called up from Highlanders for national team duty, would summon Wange keeper Muya into action, forcing him into a double save to prevent Mushore's bouncing shot from squeezing home. On 79 minutes, Wanges Lucas Banda should consider himself a lucky man for escaping scot-free for his conduct following what looked a crude tackle on Brighton Nube. Lucas appeared to even headbutt Brighton, who saw yellow for retaliation after the referee consulted with near-side assistant Brilliant Spanda. Straight after resumption, Andrew Mbeba almost made it too after a maze run in the box, his left-footed attempt acrobatically tipped over by Mouya. With Highlanders pressing for a second, a cross sliced into the box by Mushore would be side-footed straight into the arms of the busy Mouya and the scoreline had remained the same. One will win then to Boso, their first in the last seven matches and is this the beginning of progress for the Bulawayo Giants who have showed indifferent performances of late. As for Wange, they fought a good fight but they needed that little extra to emerge from Baba Fields with something. Given their low position of bottom, a point a more so away from home not to mention at a difficult Baba Fields would have been the equal to the proverbial bed in the hand with two in the bush. Wange did their best but sometimes the best is not good enough. For the Premier Soccer League at Papa Field Stadium in Bulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimba.